The overall goal of what we try to do is to make sure that children in India reach their full potential, both in terms of physical and mental growth. The bulk of our work focuses on the role of the gut. One of the things we've been working on is a rotavirus vaccine, and we find that rotavirus vaccines, the response of Indian children to such vaccines is much lower than children in the West. There are the vaccines that are delivered by injection and the vaccines that are delivered orally. If you look at the vaccines that are delivered by injection, the antigen is being delivered into a space that is usually sterile, that has not necessarily encountered pathogens before. So children respond the same way to vaccines in every part of the world. What happens is, if you give an oral vaccine, now you're putting a vaccine into an environment where you have lots of bugs around. So when you see a vaccine which is given only at six weeks of age, an Indian child in the first six weeks will have had multiple encounters with multiple pathogens before the time that the vaccine is given. That means that they have to some extent learned how to react and have stopped reacting quite as much as they should to a pathogen. So that makes it challenging to develop a vaccine where you overcome these kinds of responses that children in India have. So we've tried a number of different strategies to see not if we can improve the vaccine, but if we can improve the response to the vaccine. We've not been particularly successful in that. But there is a lesson from some older oral vaccines that have been developed, for example, the polio vaccine. In the polio vaccine, we found that two things helped. One of them was increasing the amount of virus in the vaccine that was delivered orally. The other was giving more doses of the vaccine. We have tested such interventions for oral rotavirus vaccines and certainly in terms of the number of doses, increasing that does not seem to play a role. So even when you talk about two different oral vaccines, the kinds of strategies you need to pursue will be different. Rotovac was an interesting story, but I've only been involved in the latter part of the Rotovac story. It was a vaccine that was developed out of a strain that was isolated in the All India Institute of Medical Sciences in the late 1980s. We got involved in the phase three testing of that vaccine and the trials were done in India, in Delhi, Pune and in Valor. This was one of the few examples where we had an oral vaccine that worked. It showed about 55% efficacy in the phase three clinical trial. Now, while our involvement in the vaccine trial came only towards the tail end of the testing of the vaccine, what we had been doing for almost 10 years before that was building the evidence for the need for a vaccine. We had established with the Indian Council of Medical Research a surveillance program, which initially started small, but then we expanded it to 28 hospitals, which were across the country, that involved testing at a number of different laboratories. And consistently through that surveillance program, we were able to show that two out of five children who were admitted to a hospital because of diarrhea actually had rotavirus. Taking that evidence with the success of the vaccine, the National Technical Advisory Group on Immunizations recommended to the government that we introduce the vaccine in the national program. It was rolled out in four states in 2016 and there are plans to roll it out in another six states in 2017 and 2018. The goal is to have this vaccine available to every child in the country. I think universal health care or access to health should be a human right. And I see no reason why India can't provide it. The government has a responsibility to provide health care. And I think 
working with the private sector is useful, but you can't give up that responsibility by placing the onus on private healthcare providers to provide health to the whole population. We are a country of almost 1.3 billion people and given the capacity that we have in the medical system which is variably distributed, we need to be thinking about how we structure systems where we can reach everybody that requires care. It's doable, it just requires people to commit to it. I think the Infosys Prize is a recognition of the kind of work we do and how challenging it can be. So far, many of the prizes have gone to people who are essentially in basic science and I'd classify myself very much as a public health researcher that tries to bring together a number of tools to answer questions that are important for public health in India. So the fact that the jury recognized that this is important and challenging work is a reflection of how important the prize will be for our kind of communities.